YouTube. YouTube. Welcome, Welcome back, back to our, our channel. channel. It's Carlisa. You already know your boy Sam. As y'all can see, we are outside. Okay, we brought it outside for today. Try, try to switch it up a little bit. You know, it's a nice day today. But y'all, as y'all can see, we have a whole bunch of food in front of us. So today we are going to be trying Cuban, Cuban food. food. All right. You already so, know we had to dive back into the what Latina culture, Latino Latino culture, culture. Yes, y'all. You know that's a part of us, and we love the food. So we got a milkshake, we got a drink, we got the juice, we got everything. So we're just gonna dive right into it because I'm starving and it took us a minute really, to get really here. So I'm not gonna go separately to explain each one. We're gonna do it as we go. Okay. The natural juice that we got, we got guava juice. That's this yes. from them, uh, house made. Homemade. Juice, Everything homemade. should be like freshly homemade. And the Cuban milkshake, which is right here, yeah. is passion fruit. This is the guava. Whoa. -hoo. It's definitely different. I'm just not used to that fruit guava. Is this the, is it right? Yeah, That's, you have the guava juice? juice? Actually, this is, yeah, this is definitely passion fruit. That's guava. So yeah, this is how it looks. Maybe I can see it right there. It's all very natural, like it's not too thick, not too thin. Very good. Look man, taste it. Okay. Taste this it. Okay. Okay. Then he bit the straw and everything. That, man, mine. that one is very good. Oh, this is the milkshake. This is different. It's, it's really like a good. it's like a tangy taste to it. It's though. a tangy sour taste to it. Mm -hmm. Mm, this guava, obviously. This is so it, this is this is like a very different type of milkshake. It's really good though. Obviously, the taste of this is guava, but like this is very good. Like, yeah, baby. just true to its taste. All right, so before we dive into the food, you know, all the food, we did want to let y'all know that one of our videos, actually on our TikTok, is going viral. Going so we have one of our just like a snippet of one of our YouTube videos. And that's going to be when the kids uh, choose what we eat for 24 hours. That's one of the most hilarious videos that we have done. We actually posted the clip on our TikTok channel, which we haven't really been on there too much. And it just came out of nowhere and went viral. So it's almost at like 800K, 800K views. So we just wanted to welcome all of the new TikTokers that are currently um, has subscribed to our channel from that video going viral. We just wanted to say hey and welcome yes. to the family welcome and thank you so much for, for checking us family. out. We also appreciate everyone else that has been subscribed to us since day one. We appreciate y'all as well. So we have so much great content coming for y'all and we really appreciate everything. And we hope that y'all are having an amazing day and staying blessed. So let's just get right back into the video. These, I think these are going to be ham croquettes or something like that. I don't know for sure. I thought he said he didn't get them, but I think he did. No, so yeah, those are know. definitely the ham croquettes. I think it is. So let's just try these. A ham croquette. Co Cuban. I don't know how to sell it. I mean, Cuban. say it. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> that definitely is it. <gasps> Dang, man. Take a bite. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Mm. Y'all, we don't. Well, I need my own for Starbucks. We're mine. really making an exception to like eat pork and beef and stuff just to like try different cultures because this is a part of their culture. I was gonna say, but Cuban food, they have majority like pork, pork. with their like. I pork don't know is, like, about it. With a lot of the food. That's what we see. That's what it looks like inside, guys. Just like a. It's a little piece. I don't think I like it. You like it? Not it really. tastes like a soft, a soft hot breaded dog. Hot, hot dog. dog. Yeah, hot but it's dog. like more mushy. These are going to be their version of yuca fries. We did try yuca before in the Brazilian cuisine that we had tasted, but these were a little. Bit, these are a little bit different than theirs. So this is how it looks for theirs. All right, here, pop. What's that sauce that came with? Um, I don't know. This is, I guess, like they have. Ooh. They have two different types of sauces. So one's going to be a green sauce. And then the other one is going to be like this white sauce. I don't know if y'all can see. But um, I guess like these are both of their famous sauces that they make for this type, this certain restaurant. And they actually sell them as well. So let's dig into these yuca fries. Looks like these a big good. french fry. That's what it looks like. A big french fry. These are good. These are, I feel like this is a little bit better, definitely better than the uh, Brazilian ones. These oh my god. Good. These are good. 
Try it with the sauce. Guys, this I did. Yeah. This is with the green sauce, yeah. So let's see how their green sauce is. This is good. Oh my gosh. We finishing everything. This only good. two. Guys, there's only two more left. These are very, very good. I definitely recommend trying some yuca fries. YouTube, how to make them or whatever, but these actually taste like healthier than regular fries. I don't know if it is. It tastes or not. like a. It tastes. It tastes like a big fry. Yeah, but it's not like as like. Like doughy or no, whatever. No, definitely not. Definitely. Um, it's more softer than a fry. I don't have. I don't know how to explain it. God, it's literally like a big French fry. That's it. Yeah, but it don't taste like. Like, you know when you get those big steak fries, like, it don't taste like that. Cause yeah. I don't like those, are too big for me. But this, I can, I can accept it. I don't know. But guys, the sauces that came with this, they complement it so well. It's it's a perfect taste. We got a yuca fries. fries are gone. But no, the ham, the ham croquettes weren't bad. Yeah, I forgot to show y'all the ham croquettes. They're not, they weren't bad. This is how they actually look in ham. They weren't bad. They weren't bad, but it literally just tastes like a soggy hot dog. <laughs> like, not even solid, a soggy hot dog. So we got the empanadas in here, chicken empanadas. And then, what is this thing called? So our main dish that we got, I have the menu right here. It is called... May, May thing. A mastillas? May. Mas you know, I, you know how to say that. It's, it's called uh, Mesitas de Puerco. That's the main dish that we have right here. And tell them what it is. So what's in it? It has a classic Cuban dish. It's, it's a classic Cuban dish with tender cubed pork, marinated with Cuban spices, a mojojo, the mojo sauce, lightly pan fried, and topped with sauteed onions. Yes, and that's what it looks like. So the description was perfectly on point. Guys, I can already tell this is perfectly fried, textured. Oh, okay, okay, let's take a bite, let's take a yeah, bite. it's eager. We got, we're in a little bit of different environment right now. <laughs> they got construction going on over here. They got families at the park right here. It's crazy. Literally, here. people are looking at us right now as we're recording. Like, like there's like two vans with kids. Ooh. They got food, too. They got Chick-fil-A over there. Right, see, they, look, they got a Chick-fil-A buck going on. Mm -hmm. Good luck. That's what it looks like inside the empanada. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. And this empanada is literally shredded chicken, uh, a little bit of onions, and what's the red, the red stuff that's in there? Maybe tomatoes, I don't know. Maybe a little bit of tomatoes Maybe and pop -pop. something hot. I don't know what it is. This man don't want nothing. Oh my gosh. It's good. Haven't tried some of this. Hold on. Mm. Oh, give him a piece, give him a piece. Here's I'm trying to get this situated. Here's our, this hey, right here. Let mm. me tell y'all, this looks good. That smells amazing. That's that pork, right? With this bacon. Look, this looks real good. I thought I had the other rice. No, it's underneath. It's underneath. Nah, -uh, that's the yellow rice. You yeah, call them yellow only, rice? Yes, yeah, not white rice. No, it's supposed to be the corn greens. That's what comes with it. Why'd you tell them yellow rice? Oh no, matter of fact, it's supposed to. You told them yellow rice? No, I wanted yellow rice on the side. Oh my babe, you messed it up. You confused them, so now we don't even have that rice. We're supposed to get the Congress rice. That's, That's like the, the actual most popular Cuban rice. Cuban and rice. You said the wrong rice, so whatever. They give us yellow rice instead of the Congress. They give us yellow rice instead of the Congress. Because the Congress rice oh, I'm is supposed sorry, to. Sorry, Papa. It's supposed to come with this main dish. So I don't know what happened there. Oh my what? gosh. Yeah, I'm sorry. We get a little mess right, right. now. Here with me. This Cuban empanada is amazing, man. Oh, All right, oh here. My. Wait, save me some. I do, because I was going to eat the whole thing. There's no more? Yeah, oh, there's no I mean, no, they eat that one. Oh, okay. Where? Eat mm. this one. All right, here. Look, look y'all. She even chopped it up for me. I'm ready to eat this. Mm. Really? That's funny. Mm. Let me get that empanada though. That spoon has been on the table. You cannot have that one. Look how big right they are. Right there. You put, you put it in the trash. It's right there. Mmm. The batter to it, everything's just perfect. I have nothing bad about that. This tastes like. This just tastes so uh, mm. homemade. 
made. I personally do not like to go to the store and buy like the Goya discos, the Goya Infinita shows that are like at Walmart or any other type of supermarket. I've learned to make the shows by like by hand, by homemade, and exactly it comes out 10 like. times better, like 100 times better than those type of ones. So make sure y'all definitely go look up some recipes and learn how to make the dough yourselves. I'm telling y'all. So yeah, everything that better. I taste from that is just homemade. Definitely. That, that's, that, it was very good, very good. Especially mm -hmm. the chicken. And this rice, I'm digging into the yellow rice. Oh my. All right, guys, I'm about to dig into the main dish. Let me dig into it. The pork wrapped bacon. It's not bacon, it's pork. Or pork. It has something with bacon, though. No, it doesn't. That was with the rice that we're supposed to get, and then put it in there. Let's start. Let's try it. Go ahead. All right. Pork, this guys. This is going to I be their cubed, it. cubed, Cuban pork. Yes. You ready? Yeah. Pork, babe. We haven't ate pork in a minute. We just tried the ham croquette. Oh my I'm god. I'm gonna lie. Alright y'all. Uh, I am back. So I'm gonna be the only one finishing off this food review. Let me retry this pork. Mmm. Guys, I haven't had pork in so long. It's been so long. It's crazy. I was chowing down on this yellow rice too. This yellow rice is amazing. Oh my. It should be called orange rice because it's not yellow. It's like literally orange. If y'all can see. It's orange. Mmm. I mean them both together. Everything is just perfect. Like the pork. Definitely homemade. Cooked perfectly. Mmm, this is good. Everything is good. Mmm, it's so good. Let me dip it with the green sauce. Guys, this green sauce right here, it's spicy for a little bit, and then like after you start getting more into it, it's just, it's calm. But definitely, definitely has a spicy taste to it as soon as you bite into it at first. Cream sauce is just really sweet and tangy too. I love both of them. Everyone makes their tostones different, but these tostones, they are huge. Look at that. They're so big. Mmm. That's perfect. Mmm. Crunchy. Nice texture to it. You dip it with the sauce. Mmm, so good, so, so, so good. You know what? I actually like the tostones and the white sauce better. Mmm, that's so good. I really wish Carly was here to tell y'all how she likes the food and describe how it tastes too, but Unfortunately, something's going on right now. But guys, this pork, I can't get enough of this pork. Oh my gosh. Mm. We also got the black beans as well. Just what they look like. It's pretty good. I'm actually start digging into that now. Mm. Now see, this would be good with the rice. I'm gonna scoop my rice. Mix them with the beans. Look at that, y'all. This is gonna be good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. For all those Cuban lovers out there, Cuban subscribers, and people who love Cuban food, this is our first time trying it, and it was amazing. Everything's cooked perfectly. The taste and different textures are really different. We will definitely be coming back to eat you guys' food. Mm. And the natural juices in that, uh, the smoothie that we got too, amazing. The Cuban smoothie drink, oh my gosh, that was amazing. 
and the sauces are A1 too. Everything just flows together. I really appreciate all of our new subscribers coming from our TikTok. I love you guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.